Each year for Easter we really offer something new and something really beautiful and something soothing even, you know, something, something that is good for our soul, something that's good for our ears, something that's good for our body. Let me tell you about Gethsemane. We, the initial title that we had for the piece was going to be Lamentations. Lamentations from the Old Testament, the Jeremiah Lamentations, are very descriptive, graphic, provocative texts even. They talk about losing not just your life, but above all, losing your dignity, losing your pride. And it's, of course, a metaphor for grief. In moments of supreme grief, what do we do? We weep, we cry. This text deals with that kind of extreme emotion. And uh, not easy to deal with that. But music does deal with that. And music deals with that in a, in a, in a new and an emotional, in a beautiful, redemptive way. Gethsemane the name of the place where Christ retreated, asking his disciples you know, to wait for him and wake. And he goes by himself to pray, to face the agony, a moment of fear, a moment of, of uh, a feeling too of being abandoned, really being alone. What Gerald Brophy has done, rather than dwell upon you know, these biblical Lamentations texts, is found another spot around the world, in India, in Calcutta. Um, India, of course, has changed a lot over the last 20, 30 years, but there still is incredible, heart-wrenching poverty. So five spots in Calcutta have become the starting point. A square, a road, a particular corner of a street. We're working together from the greatest percussionists we have in this country, incredible percussionists, you know, from Synergy. Timothy Constable and Alison Pratt, you know, they're both prize winners. Really fantastically virtuosic musicians and most important for this piece, you know, there is sensitivity needed, obviously. This is not about dazzling everyone with uh, the fastest drum rolls, but it's, it's really about beautiful, beautiful sounds, meaningful sounds.